Good evening, guys. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds of people showing up here tonight in support of Officer Danny Golden, including his friends who were there that night rushing him to the hospital. The pipers were playing and the dancers were dancing. As an authentically Irish fundraiser got underway today in the north side of Chicago. We're having a fundraiser today for Danny Golden, my son, at the uh, Irish American Heritage Center on the north side. Pat Golden taking time to chat with us about how his son Danny has been doing since getting out of inpatient rehab a few weeks back. Being back in his house, being back with his fiance Casey, being back with his family, friends, has been uh, uplifting and unbelievable. This family's nightmare started about three months ago. It was uh, July 9th, July 9th. When we're told Danny, who was off duty, was trying to break up a bear fight near West 104th Street in Western on the south side when he was struck by gunfire, with Pat getting a phone call at 2.30 in the morning from one of Danny's friends. Brian Kennedy, uh, Jack Gorman, Dan McKibney, they saved him. They threw him in the back of a squad car and they, uh, oh, sorry, they drove to Christ Hospital and he saved his life. So I kind of just, uh, I just kind of saw he was laying there and I'm, I'm not really sure what happened next. I just kind of kicked, kicked into gear, you know, just tried to save him. We chatted with Brian Kennedy, Danny's friend of more than 20 years, who helped get him to safety that night. Uh, there was a couple uh, U.S. Army veterans on scene who have been deployed overseas, so they knew exactly what to do. And then we picked up Danny, brought him to the squad car, and then uh, thank God for CPD. They, they got him there faster than I could have ever imagined, and then we handed him off to the hospital staff, who did a great job. One of the bullets severed Danny's spine, paralyzing him from the waist down. All we need is a miracle, and uh, I know everybody's praying for one. And while it's been a tough road thus far, we're told the support has been overwhelming. Rona, we're getting letters from Ireland. Uh, we had uh, letters from uh, the O'Briens from Dublin, Ireland, and uh, they're sending mass intentions and they're saying, get well. Including, of course, today with a united front from the north and south sides. That's how Beverly, Mount Greenwood has always been, and uh, finding out tonight, Edison Park, Jefferson Park, it's the same way, you know. Uh, Irish American, it's, they all, you know, they just have his back. It's, it's really, really cool to see. Here's a kid in a wheelchair, and he has got a permanently painted smile on his face. I never met such an upbeat guy in my entire life. Chief of Police and Lions, Tom Herrian, one of the many involved in organizing this event. You know, you really learn about what people are like when you have an event like this. It is, it really restores your faith in people. Add in if anyone can get back up on his feet, it's this guy. His personality and his drive, if, if anybody's going to succeed with, through this event, it's going to be Danny Golden. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, three men have been charged in relation to the shooting of Officer Danny Golden. All three have pled not guilty. If you're wondering how much support this family has behind them, a GoFundMe has raised almost $1.5 million. We're going to get the link for that up on our website under this story. We'll have at the Irish American Heritage Centre, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.